Zaidi, Zaidi, ni mfahamu Yesu, ni juwe pendo lake na wakobu wake kamili. Hi everybody, my name is Janice Wanjiro Kiyoko. I am a worship leader, I am a singer-songwriter. I am a wife, I am a sister, and I am a daughter, and I am happy to be here. I'm hearing people say that I've been doing this since I was class four. I knew I could sing, but I don't have the same story. I am the music came a little a little later in life. I think I started singing in 2012. Before that, it was just joyful noise to the Lord. <laughs> that was in after after high school. I always knew I could sing, but I didn't didn't really believe in myself that much. So I didn't sing at all. So I could just sing to harmonies, harmonies in the house, the praise and worship sing alongs, but genuinely genuinely doing it with purpose now came after that 2012. I have written, not yet recorded. Jithihirishe, tuwa kungoja, tuwa kungoja. Jithihirishe, tuwa kungojea. My journey started in prison worship, billions and a prison worship. So a pastor of mine used to hear us jamming in the afternoon. You know, you got a teenager you don't have anything to do in the afternoon. So we had two of our people who, one who used to play the keyboard and the other one a guitar. So they would just jam and we were there singing, singing. So one of our, our prison worship pastor, he's called Pastor Ken, I appreciate that man of God so much. Because he had me and told me, come join worship team here, main sanctuary. And I'm like, okay, are you sure? And he was like, yes. And that was the beginning of my journey. It started in church, singing praise and worship, and BGVing, not even leading any song, not even taking any roles, just being there and singing in the worship team. I will exalt you. I will exalt you. I will exalt you. You are my God. I minister at City Lighters Church and uh, Pastor George Masharia. I love my team because they are, they know they are called and they know, they know it's ministry. They are so committed, they are so humble, they are so obedient and they are so willing to learn. And there's nothing as amazing as someone who wants to learn because that's how you grow, both spiritually and skillfully as well. So my team, and then one thing, they are friends. I would talk up and then, it's just rehearsal and repeat. Re you'll sit down, you'll bond, you'll catch up. It won't be just, we're not just people who minister in one church, we are family. And that is one thing that I love about that team. Where? 
Hata yangu sasa vitu kwa ground. Ndaambia 2012. 2012 2012 and I started singing. Hey. So after that I started doing a little bit professional. Kidogo tu so I started going you know ku expand kujua how people can lead a song. But every time nilikuwa na lead song nitaanza ki moja nimalizie kwenye iko kwa drums. <laughs> it was horrible. It was very bad and it made me feel very bad about myself. But I did not one thing I, I really liked about the teachers at that time. This was Mike Manoa and Joe Bukachi. They did not just let me go. They still continued pressuring me, making me grow, making me learn, helping me out, giving me pointers. And I would say that it needs one commitment. And it's not commitment through your teacher alone. You are supposed to give yourself that, that determination, that motivation to wake up and work on your skill. And it's really hard because you'll wake up and a kesho is still the same. But don't aim back key, the music is 16 keys down the keyboard. You're not even where the keyboard is. The keyboard is this. And the next day, bad or the same thing. But with time, with time, you see little growths, little growths. And that's what counts. And that's what I can say helped me to be where I am right now. Those little growths and me believing in myself. So it doesn't, it doesn't just come in a day. Work on your craft, polish your craft, work on your skill day in, day out, and don't give up. We we'll just take a minute right now and just worship the name of Jesus. Father, we are grateful today because you have called us your own. We are grateful today, Lord Jesus, because we are not defined by what the world is calling us. Lord, you have given us a new identity. The old is gone and the new has come. And today, O oh King of Glory, we walk in confidence. We walk with confidence, O oh King of Glory, because you are our God. This kind God, oh, I have never seen your type, oh. This kind God, oh, blessed be your holy name. We meet for practice every Friday. And it's just two hours because finding guys is really hard on a weekday. And then now we have a little bit of time on Sunday. So on Sunday we have a little bit of time before the service starts and then after the service. So we are really gelled and we know everyone's heart at that moment. That's my portion in the precious of her love. personal encounter happened in 2013 and I remember that very clearly because that was when I knew that this is what I was supposed to do. This is when I really had the calling of God very clear. We were just praying and you know being in that moment and being in that environment and that's when I had a clear voice telling me that the path that you're walking in and we're doing it as a worship team, we're just in a worship team. And I had a very clear voice telling me that the path that you're walking in is right and this is where I'm going to use you. And that's the first very major encounter I had with God. And that is why I am doing what I'm doing right now. Because since 2013 it was very clearly communicated and very clearly explained by God, yes. It has taken a lot of me believing in myself, me believing in the journey that I've been called in, me believing in my weaknesses and knowing that I can change them and knowing that I can get better when I polish them. Me believing that in my strength and not overpowering my strength, rather making it overwhelm my brain and having pride in it. 
but knowing that this strength is for the kingdom of God and for the purpose of the kingdom of God. So it has taken a lot of, first of all, believing in myself so much. I'm desperately waiting to be where you are Across the hottest desert Yes, I'll travel near or far for your glory I look forward to testimonies because I really believe that God cannot just gather people and leave them the same way. So for me, I always look forward to those testimonies that come after, that through the worship, through the praise, I really had an encounter, I had this revelation, I was sick but I got my healing, you know, the sole purpose, the power of God being manifest in that place. And that is what I always pray for even before I go to any ministry, even before I minister. Because that's the sole purpose of the reason as to why we are gathering, to just have an encounter with God. I surrender all to you, everything I give to you, withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. First of all, the person who thought I could sing, because at that time I couldn't really sing, my pastor, Pastor Ken Iduvula. And then I have Mike Manoa, I have Joe Bukachi, and then I have the friends who have held me up. The friends who have, through their gifting, I got to learn a couple of things. And this is Sue Ashira, Becky Anambo, eh, the list is so endless, Jackie Gashiri, Njoki Muni. So many people uh, that I've worked with have really helped me in that area. Internationally. Hi, I'm Tetwa, Klengiwe, Paul Clement, uh, 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 my God, Shana Brain, D, Tasha Cobbs, Kiera Shad, uh, Jonathan Nelson, the list is endless. <laughs> Now by might, now by power, by your spirit, God, send your spirit, God. Unastahili kuabudiwa, unastahili ewe yesu, unastahili kuabudiwa, unastahili ewe. In 2012, I wanted to quit music because me and Ki, you know, and I was thinking maybe this is not where I've been called into. And the process of actually reaching the point where I can actually sing on key was not a walk in the park. And with that, you see the people around you, surrounding you, they're singing on key. Key is not the problem here, you know, as in give me another challenge. And you feel so, you feel so depressed about it. And it made me really feel like giving. We trust our God. We trust our We trust our God. We trust Yahweh. We trust Yahweh. Yahweh. Hakuna kama wewe. Oh oh Yahweh. Yahweh. Sipa zote.
lipi hilo ye ye asilo liweza liseme liseme litaje litaje kwa nini jambo lipi hilo ye ye asilo liweza this is a testimony I always share everywhere and I always tell people that I see God as my father because Nikki grew up when I was in, when I was 12 my dad left so I I grew up with a, with a single mom and it was really hard because you you were raised with this man until he was 12 so it's not that he left when you were young so you know your earthly father you just know that he chose not to be in your space. It was really hard to know and to see him living his life, doing life, and having another family and wondering what did we do wrong. And then that is how God really came and became a father to me. And I never felt, I, as the moment he, I called God and told God, I want you now to be my father because this void is real. And trust me, even if you've lost your father through death, you will know that that void is really, really real. And once he came as a father, I've never felt that void again. And that's one of the biggest, strongest miracles to date I'm still experiencing. Your God of the hills and valleys, hills and valleys, God of the hills and valleys, I am not alone. Your God of the hills and valleys, hills and valleys, God of the hills and valleys, I am not alone. And if you're watching me, I just want to remind you that we're serving a living God. He is not dead. He is alive and he is powerful. So believe in him. And you can find me on Instagram. I'll make it very simple. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Janice Wanjiro. That is it. Instagram is Janice underscore Wanjiro. Facebook is Janice Wanjiro and YouTube is Janice Wanjiro. And I want to say a big thank you to SI Studios. And if you're looking for a space, a rehearsal space, it's located in Veteran House, 8th floor, Moy Avenue in town. And if you're looking for a space to rehearse, a recording studio and a music school, this is the place right here. Led by a leader, Mike Manoa. No. Find favor in your sight, Lord, please hear my heart's cry, I'm desperately waiting to be
I wanna be where you are. 